All right, Scaredy Bob here. This is the first round in the NS2 launch tournament and the European uh, branch. Uh, so we have uh, Exorcist versus Reens with Dreams. Uh, this is the first matchup on Tram, and we have what looks like pretty favorable starting positions for them. Uh, usually, uh, it's concerning if you get a server warehouse uh, spawn. The team who spawns the server is usually at a disadvantage, but uh, aliens here spawned in uh, um, shipping as opposed to Marines and warehouse. And it looks like our first contact is going to come down here in Tram. Uh, some combat subs taking down Grissy, uh, Mouse Lag Man, uh, working on we and uh, Vartija. I I'm probably mispronounced that, sorry there, but. Um, and it looks like Mouse Lag Man and Zups are going to just kind of hold Tram here. Wee's uh, retreating there, <laughs> Russia. He's probably going to go, yeah, he's going to go down fast. Taking on three Marines by himself, uh, that's unfortunate. It's med packs. Looks like Marines are pushing out to try to get a lot of these RTs early. Uh, Squirrely working on G and Grissy in repair room here. Looks like they're going to take down Grissy and maybe even take down G here. Um, unfortunately, one gorge against a, a good Marine player is going to have some difficulty. He, oh, it's, and he goes down. Uh, Lama and Zub's pushing on shipping pretty aggressively and early. It's a good thing to go and take down that RT, try to res lock aliens as much as possible. We, Chrissy and Arj, are just sitting there just trying to keep them out of base. Uh, some combat, some combat here in, uh, uh ore deposit now. Zub's Lama looks like they're going to retreat a bit, maybe, uh, meet up with Mouse Lag Man and push into logistics. Usually, if one side of shipping is uh, locked up, you want to try to flank the other side. It's a good, call. it's a good call. But a nice uh, matchup here. Uh, looks like they're gonna clean up Exodus unless <laughs> Zups can pull it off, and Zups does. Good job by Zups to clean up about two uh, skulks by himself. I was thinking that he wouldn't be surviving that one, but uh, he he pulled it out there. Usually, those enclosed tight corridors make it a little bit easier for. Uh, for aliens to push in and try to flank them, but sometimes it doesn't work out so well. I mean, it looks like they're going to clear out Zups here at the moment. Uh, some Marines pushing back into repair room, Llama and Squirrely. Uh, looks like they're going to take some pot chests to these aliens coming through. We, Grissy, taking damage, digging out Nashi. Uh, Mouse Lag Man and Tram. Looks like he's going to try to flank these aliens in repair room and maybe take some damage out. Squirrely taking down both Grizzly and Wee. Doing a good job at Dick Bell uh, Is he going to pull it off against Mouse Lag Man? And he does, but he's probably going to get cleaned up by Llama and Squirrely here, and he does. So, a little combat in, uh, in observation here. Illidan taking down G. And this RT is going to die here in repair room pretty quickly against Squirrely and Llama. I don't think there's aliens are barely coming, so. Mines and face techs going down. A big, uh, a one change in 224-225 uh, was that uh, ar armory was required before uh, observation and face tech. So I think we'll be seeing, uh, traditionally it was commonly used to just go observation first and get face tech before an armory. Uh, but that's kind of changed in this patch here, so we're going to see a lot more armory tech. Mines coming out possibly before face tech. Not a big deal. This map is small enough that you don't necessarily need a face tech to get around pretty good. Shotgun's going up too, so that's going to do a lot of damage to uh, this alien team here. Exotest is definitely good shooters, and with the hands of a shotgun, it's going to be easily one or two shot kill skulks. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is this is a bit aggressive. A pair room hive has been dropped. Going to get caught by mouse lag man, unfortunately. So hopefully, uh, Reans of Dreams can clear out the llama and uh, squirrely here and actually go defend that hive. I was going to be in trouble. Definitely Marines uh, doing their... Definitely winning here. This hive is 17%. Of those aliens got to get in there quick. Arj and Dikdal Neshi and we. Oh, Arj goes down to a mine. Very good mine work by Exodus here. Not just putting it in base, but just putting it around the map. Using it offensively. It looks like the shell is probably going to go down. There's no, there's no alien nearby to defend it, so... And as you can see by the map, I mean, the, the Marines have just have, to, like, basically res control. They even have observation here. I mean, how many teams get the nearby, uh, the nearby RT to the alien base? <laughs> Except when you're just dominating, so. 
Unfortunately, with Reinsworth's dreams, they're they're having trouble here. It looks like an Exorcist player has crashed, but he just got back in. So I, I don't think it's going to really matter too much. Their Exodus is just doing a good job of uh, controlling this gameplay. So taking that sheen, we desperately trying to save this hive here. We's uh, got back to fifty-one percent. So it won't be that that terrible. Um, be a little bit more difficult. It's going back 67, but against the combined <laughs> firepower of four Marines, they don't have any weapon upgrades, but that doesn't really matter. Um, it's just gonna they're gonna take down these hydras and pull in and kill in that and kill in that gorge. And he he knows what's going on and he retreats a little bit there, but I think he's just gonna die at this point. He's not gonna be able to save himself. Fredigia going in and trying to uh, save this hive. Six, it's only 60%, but once the Marines decide to actually focus fire on that hive, it's going to go down quick. Yeah, look at that. 60, 30, 20. Uh, that's, yeah, that hive's dead. Second command station going down in server. Um, looks like Marines getting to the point where uh, they could use some... Uh, um, Nano shields and possibly start getting up that uh, tier two tech, the proto te uh, proto lab and so forth. A lot of this combat's been around repair room since that was the second hive drop. Um, a pretty common thing for Marines is when you find that second hive, is just group up and attack it. Um, if you're doing well, like uh, um, Exorcist is, um, you can kill those hives pretty quickly, as shown there. Fredericia finally comes in as a as a lurk and cleans it up, um, but I mean that's about. Um, 30, 60 seconds too late to save that hive. Lurk has been uh, buffed in the recent patch, uh, mostly spike damage, uh, and a little bit with the the movement controls, I believe. So, Lurks are pretty deadly. <laughs> you just gotta get out of there. Mouse Lag Man might snipe. Oh, and he goes down. Good job by Mouse Lag Man to just clear out that Lurk, and that is a hard blow to Alien. I mean, lurks are, are fairly cheap in the in the range of uh, uh, higher life forms, but you never want to lose it when you're down. Looks like Exodus has got this phase gate up here in elevator transfer. Uh, pretty good location, uh, prevents them from dropping uh, elevator, and also you can start assaulting on the uh, east side of the map. Here. Some combat in ore deposit. Arj nearly going down to a mine, and did he get. Deacon uh losing uh, to both Illidan and Mouse Lag Man here. Arg pushing up. <laughs> this is the the effect of mines. Um, if you can't get those higher life forms on the field, uh, mines just can be devastating to uh, Skulks. I mean, even when you see the first one uh, only took down damage, but it softened up Arg for the second one. So. Narge is usually the uh, Reigns with Dreams commander. You see, he's pretty much jumped out at this point because there's nothing he can really do in combat at the moment. Um, even if you have enough res to drop a hive, there's no safe place to drop it. Uh, there's no place to waste your money there. I think at this point, they're just trying to get as many players on the field so they can get as many, uh, um, you know, numbered matchups you want. If you're going against a team like Exodus who, who's clearly outplaying uh, Reigns with Dream at the moment, uh, the way you can compete is just getting up uh, um, more more plays than you can at the moment. So, you know, try to get 3v2, 4v2, 5v3 matchups, 2v1 matchups. That's how you're going to beat Exodus in this situation. And we have a dual hive drop here. So, uh, Reigns with Dream, realizing that, you know, probably not going to be able to defend one, but if we use a second one as distraction, especially an elevated transfer here, uh, unfortunately I don't think it's going to survive long enough to really be much of a distraction, but we have a rush going on to shipping. Leading in Mouse Like Man clearly saw that one coming, and protective look at that beautiful mine placements right in the entrance, taking down Deagle and Ashi, and just hurting everyone else. And these, these aliens, that rush was not going anywhere. Exorcist read that uh, like a book and just said, <laughs> nope. And G finally dying there. So very good play by Exorcist. They did lose an RT, but you know, they could lose half their RTs and still be winning. Aliens are only down to one built and one building RT, so. 
Exodus finally dropping CC to prevent these uh, hive drops. This uh, second hive is about half finished. Uh, but Exodus knows it's going. You see that uh, um, scan going down there, so they know it is there. And there you can see they're, they're quickly going to push right in this hive. Uh, looks like aliens, especially Grissy, are just going to try to do their best to save it. We looks like he's going gorge. Oh no, is he going gorge or fade? Oh, gorge. There we go. Unless you're going down, Grissy doing a little damage, but uh, taking a lot of fire, and he's gonna die. And unfortunately, against shotguns, especially with uh, level two researching level three ar uh, weapons, uh, this hive's just gonna go down. I mean, look, four level two shotguns, and it's just hot. And unfortunately, there's only so much you can do with the two hive distraction on a map as small as this. Once the, once the Marines know where that hive is, they can pretty much run to that location within uh, 60 seconds. So, not much time to really get that second hive up. At this point, I think uh, Exodus is just going to clean clean up clean up the map. I mean, keep the aliens down to those few RTs. Zeb's clean up. Yeah, Zeb's basically that's, that's unfortunately part of the problem against a team like Exodus. Even if you go something like two v one, uh, certain players like Zeb's is on a, is doing pretty well right now and clearing out uh, uh, Marines even when he when he's got the uh, when he's at a disadvantage. Arge going down there, and it looks like Exodus is just gonna start slowly pushing into this base here, taking all these Hydras. Hydras are usually the most uh, I mean, they're, us they're not terribly effective, but they're good enough to slow down Marines. Simply because you don't want that slow drain of basically health they cause when you run into a base. Um, so they, they take some, they force the Marines to kill the Hydras first. You can see there, and they're not pushing in, they're, they're sniping those Hydras, and once they, those are clear, they'll push in. Let's slow that early on, that repa first repair room hive. Uh, Exodus just stood at a distance and just shot those Hydras down before uh, clearing everything out, and... Mouse like man and llama just clearing up these aliens in this little narrow corridor. Unfortunately, the uh, narrow corridor kind of works with the, when the Marines only have assault rifles, but when they got shotguns, it's a big other problem. And Grissy doing a great job clearing out both llama and mouse like man. So perhaps the Grissy to at least pull <laughs> pushing that uh, defense that uh, assault off of them up. Really didn't take it far to do. and finally been taken down by uh, G there. So. Mostly at this at this point, Reigns of Dream is just kind of delaying the inevitable. Digal Jesse getting sniped by a squirrely there, and it kind of seems like they know it. They're kind they kind of look a bit uh disjointed, kind of wandering around the map, not sure what to do. I guess to a certain point, maybe try to snipe some RTs to delay to delay it. But there's no place they can drop a second hive. They've all been claimed, so they'll have to destroy one of them. And, you know, jetpacks are up, Zups and Llama, shotgun, weapons three, armor. Armor one still, but, you know, that doesn't matter. Uh, aliens don't have leap, which is pretty much almost a necessity when you're fighting jetpack marines. Um, especially in a pretty, pretty wide open uh, tech note as shipping. Frankly, th these marines, aliens, will want to try to fight in tram, uh, tram south tunnels there. It's a little bit better to fight jetpack and marines, but at this point, I mean, got a lurk egg drop. Vardija, um, going lurk there, um, but that RT is gonna go down. Lurk is usually the other, I mean, probably the best counter they have now uh, against these jetpack marines, but. And at best, he's probably gonna want to. Oh, he goes down. Yeah, that's the problem, is like the uh, jetpacks uh, can keep up speed with the Lurk, so they can just chase him down and shoot him dead. And Arch is calling it GG there. Pretty much most of his team is dead, and they know it's over, so. And a little uh, scan spam to end this game. <laughs> so, uh, Exodus uh, pulls off the first uh, first win on the uh, NS2 Lost Tournament, round one.